Section 3, Using a Pistol Safely. We'll now cover using a pistol safely. Most gun accidents are caused by one of two things, ignorance or carelessness. Even in the best of circumstances, firearm accidents can happen. So it's important to always be on your guard when handling firearms or when firearms are being handled around you. It's everyone's responsibility to guard against firearm accidents. So if you see an unsafe situation, do what you can to rectify it without stepping into harm's way yourself. As law enforcement and firearms instructors, we emphasize frequent self-checks for all officers present when handling firearms. We also teach that each officer present should act as an additional safety officer whenever handling firearms. At American Firearms Training, we teach three fundamental gun safety rules. The first is always keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. Second, always keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. And third, always keep the firearm unloaded until it's ready for use. Regarding rule number one, always keep the firearm pointed in a safe direction. This rule is designed so that even if an accidental discharge occurs, injury and damage can be avoided. Your surroundings will dictate what the safest direction is. Outdoors, generally it's toward the ground. Always be aware of where the muzzle of the firearm is pointing. In law enforcement, we sometimes refer to this as a laser rule. Never point the muzzle of a firearm at anything you're not willing to destroy. Regarding rule number two, keep your trigger finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. This is a common mistake made from novice firearm handlers all the way up to seasoned law enforcement officers. It's important to note that firearms can have drastically different trigger pressures required to discharge them. The preferred method is to keep your trigger finger on the frame of the firearm as demonstrated here. This can help prevent an accidental discharge from the firearm from a startle effect, which is the unintentional clenching of the muscles from a surprise. There's also a natural human tendency that when one hand clenches, the other hand tends to clench as well. Make it an imperative that you keep your trigger finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. This is known as the sympathetic response. At American Firearms Training, there are 15 other firearm safety rules we teach our students. They are as follows. One, know the target and what is beyond. An example would be if you ever used your pistol in self-defense in a residential setting. You must be aware of what is between you and the target and what is beyond to avoid an accidental shooting. Two, know how to use the gun safely. You should be familiar with how to manipulate the pistol and know its basic parts. Three, be sure the gun is safe to operate. Just like other tools, guns need regular maintenance to include regular cleaning. If there's any question concerning the gun's condition, you should consult a gunsmith. Four, use only the correct ammunition for the gun. You should match the head stamp of the cartridge to the barrel to ensure that you're using the correct ammunition. Five, wear eye and ear protection whenever possible. Gunshots are loud and they can cause hearing damage and guns can also emit debris and hot gas that can cause eye injuries. Six, never shoot under the influence of alcohol or drugs. This can impair decision making and bodily functions. Remember prescription and over-the-counter meds can also cause drowsiness and impaired judgment. Seven, store guns so that they are inaccessible to unauthorized persons. To include juveniles, mentally impaired persons, and untrained household members or visitors. Eight, be aware that certain types of guns and many shooting activities require additional safety precautions. Nine, do not attempt to alter a firearm unless you're a gunsmith. It takes specialized training to ensure the gun functions properly after alterations are made. Ten, when handing a firearm to another person, be sure that the muzzle is pointed in a safe direction. Eleven, store different types of ammunition separately to ensure there's no mix-ups. Different types of ammunition can resemble each other. Attempting to fire the wrong ammunition can lead to serious injury or death. Storing separately can prevent this from occurring. 12. Remember, if the cartridge fails to fire when the trigger is pulled, wait 30 seconds to ensure there is no hang fire. 13. When loading a semi-automatic pistol, always use the magazine. Never load around directly into the chamber by hand. 14. Always comply with all local, state, and federal laws. Penalties for firearms-related infractions can be rather steep. 15. A firearm safety mechanism should never be relied upon. Like any other mechanical advice, they can break. This is by no means an exhaustive list. Remember to use common sense when handling firearms, and always remember to consult your local laws. I'd now like to take a few minutes to talk about range safety. The controlled environment of a firing range is a great place to practice your shooting skills in a relatively safe environment. Most ranges remain hot at all times, allowing the shooters to shoot continuously. 
many ranges also operate with some downtime. The person in charge of the firing line at a range is known as the range safety officer. There are three major commands given by the range safety officer. They are as follows. The first is load. This command is given to inform the shooters to load their firearms. The second command is commence firing. This command is given to inform the shooters on the firing line that they may begin firing. The third is cease fire. This command is given when the firing line is to go cold or to stop shooting. Anyone on the firing line or in the general vicinity can call for a ceasefire if they see an unsafe situation developing. The range safety officer may give additional commands. It's important to follow those commands for your safety and for those around you. Always remember that firearm safety is your responsibility. Always adhere to your local and state laws, and above all, use your common sense and be safe.